Sag, ah, die kann kein Selbst schneiden. Ja, Rasta ist ein Weg auf Life. Rasta ist something that you know that you're born with. So I was born a Rasta. Africa. Once part of the decidedly male-dominated culture, Rastafari women have since begun to assert their presence and influence within the movement. Being a Rastafari woman, a professional woman in this world, for me is just part of my part of my everyday existence. It's my responsibility. We are what human beings, male, female. Complimentary, defended. In Rastafari, we do not want our men to be behind us, in front of us. We are partners, we're next to. We give thanks for the women, the empresses, and the sisters within the church of Rastafari because they have strengthened the movement. We have a concept of male superiority, female inferiority. It's not standing on stuff. In his own way, no wives set the woman below the man, but side by side. Rastafari is a sacred way of life with its own distinctive practices. These practices, called liberty, are the ways in which Rastafari show devotion to the Creator through everyday expressions in appearance, dress, language, and diet. And Rastafari is reminding the world that it's one. All races and we are meant to be one with nature, to be idol. And so we look to you the right forms. Rastafari is our way of healthy living within the eating, within the um, ecological, beliefs and foundations of Rasta in terms of living in harmony with nature and with creation. Our dreadlocks is our natural cover. We're living to the laws of nature, naturality, the order of Rastafari, and dreadlocks did it. But I'm, I'm very proud to take my dreadlocks today and keep this feature. And I never yet think that it's the wrong way. And especially when I know that if I was trying to save expense, it would be an easy way for me because I don't have to go by race every minute of the Having a lux doesn't necessarily distinguish you as a Rasta, but you have to make the point that you actually are a Rasta. But the hairstyle has become very popular now. It's not just lux alone. You have to be living natural, and there is a divine way. Growing my locks is almost five years old. When gathered together in collective discussions called reasonings, Rastafari traditionally spoke the herb cannabis, which for them is a holy sacrament. You know, the Rastaban says the herb gives us wisdom, knowledge, and understanding because it helps us to meditate and we reason. So within the reasoning and the meditation comes wise mind and understanding and knowledge. Herb is one of the most secret thing. When we really chant in Antarctica, we really burn a little herb that comes given. We don't deal with herb unless it connects to God. <laughs> 